I don't know why Jurassic Park's in my head. There we go. Excellent. All right. So we've got our stream loaded. I, I think. It appears. Uh, got excellent there. We have data coming in. Okay. Yep. That confirms that. Thank you. Sorry about that. And all right. Let's put that down. We're good there. Now I just have to enter in several places and switch this to live chat. All right, so here we go. I am preloaded, so enter. 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 Uh, enter. 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 Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where am I, where am I, where am I, where am I? And enter. Done, that is everywhere. Oh, wait, is it? Hold on, I think I missed one place. Pretty sure I did. I sure did, post. Okay, and waiting. Now I'm done. Okay. All right. That's good. Let's see. Okay. Second. Yep. Okay, good. Mike looks good. My dog is flipping out. Relax. So my wife is in the garage teaching her body combat class, and my dog thinks that anytime somebody opens the front door, it means they're abandoning you, huh? They're, we're leaving you because we're such terrible dog parents. Yeah, we sure are. All right, let's move the keyboard. I don't think I will need that. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, for a second I thought the stream had failed, but now we're looking good. We're okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let me move the iPad into my normal position. This will probably be a slightly shorter stream than usual because I have to get the pizza oven fired up for my wife's class because they're having pizza. So I know what time I need to get the oven going so it can warm up by the time they're done. So, okay. All right, so this looks good, this looks good. All the meters are green as far as I can tell. So here we go. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, that should clear out in a second. And you should see, there we go, the iPad is visible. Let's get going. So, uh, this may look different than the last time you saw it. And that's because I redid all the lines. In fact, I see some more I have to redo. I just noticed one because I just didn't like the way they looked. So, I have to clean up. Yeah, those are got to go too. I don't like those. Don't like how tight these lines are, so that's got to go. Oh, God, no. Now that's got to go. That's got to go. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is this is the problem. Because I, I just realized I was like, oh, no, I don't, I don't like. Do not like how tight some of these lines are. I still don't, but that's the worst of them done. Yeah, actually, we're good there. Okay, so I started blocking in colors, as you can see, and that's what we're going to be doing for probably the majority of the stream. So let's get to coloring. But yeah, I just, I, I tried a different technique for them. Didn't like them. This is more like what I did on the original card. There's still spaces like that that I don't like, so I'm probably gonna end up modifying a few things. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I might as well just do it now because I can already tell I don't like that. So why wait? Let's just do it now. But you know, this is this is how it goes. This is how it goes. I mean, I literally just erased all the lines and redid all of them. Didn't take long. Didn't feel like doing it on the stream because I didn't think it would be a lot throwing to watch. But uh, yeah, there's still some corrections I need to make. Not a big deal. This is easy stuff to do. More more of an annoyance to me because I had to erase all the colors that I had done. Hey, that's how it goes. Here again, the benefits of digital. Redoing this on paper would have been impossible. Would have had to restart the whole thing. Would never have been able to do it. Digital, doesn't take long at all. That line just looks terrible. That line just doesn't look good. I, I just, these some of these are holdovers. I didn't redo every single line. So some of this stuff I, is, is holdover. Where is, what is that from? Where is that? 
It's gotta be one of these. There it is right there. Let's get rid of that. But yeah, that, that, that line doesn't look good at all. So we're gonna go ahead and redo that. That part's fine. You can't really tell where that is. But it just doesn't, if it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. It's as simple as that. If it doesn't look good, can't leave it. You got you gotta fix it. I mean, you, you could leave it, but I wouldn't recommend it. See, that, that looks a thousand times better than the other one did because, importantly, here's what I'm gonna do that's really gonna to seal it. I'm gonna do that, see? And then it looks, it just looks better. It just looks more like kind of the flame effect. It just looks better. So all I can tell you is it looks better to me. And in the end, it has to look good to you. You know, I mean, it, assuming you're not working for somebody else. If you're working for somebody else, it's gonna have to look good for them too. But if you're, it's just you, it has to look good to you. If it doesn't, don't, don't just put up with it. Redo it, fix it. Because you want it to, especially if it's going to be something where you're going to be, like this is going to be put on my threadless store. So I want it to look good. I don't want to put something on there that I think is, that I can't look at and really think I, I, I like. I have to like it in the end too. Can't just be what other people like. You have to like your stuff too doesn't mean it has to be perfect there is no perfect but you know there, there's a difference between trying to achieve perfection which is impossible and accepting something that you know you don't like looking at you shouldn't not like you shouldn't look at something that you did and not like it you should fix it if that's the case see like I don't like that I'm, I'm just looking at this now and I don't like this I don't like how big that is those those big spaces don't look right to me they need to be interrupted like something like um i don't know like that maybe actually yeah that doesn't look bad so I'll just do a nice gradual line like that you know i mean it may complicate some of my colors as i'm going forward because now i have to redo the color in there but see i like the way that looks better it looks more like a rolling flame or a curling flame that i like i don't think oh Where'd that come from? I must have bumped something. Hold on, that should be easy to fix. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well, of course I did it right where the line was, so that makes it a little trickier, but there we are. Nothing we can't handle. That's probably the worst of it. I don't think there's any other big spaces like that that I'm too concerned about. But yeah, I, I basically had to go through and redo a bunch of the lines because I just I just didn't like the way they looked. I just realized I did not fundamentally like it, and uh, I, I don't want to look at something I've done and not like it. <laughs> it's just it's just not a good feeling, you know? So, hey, you know, like I said, that happens. Not a big deal, especially because it's digital. With digital, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't, because you can just go in there and do things like that and fix stuff. I mean, it's so easy to just fix things, you know, or do something like that. Now, hold on, let me make sure it's not the same layer or that's not going to work. Good, it's not. So see, that's there fixing something or, or updating something or correcting something in digital is very easy. Now you could do this on paper too. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's not. Oh, there may be a beep that gets picked up from the, we have a little machine that makes pizza dough. I don't know how audible that beep will be to this microphone. Probably won't pick it up. It's not that loud, but just in case you hear beeping, it is not the smoke alarm because it sounds kind of similar. Uh, it is, in fact, just the, the, the bread machine going off. So don't worry. I won't ignore a fire. I will not. Let's do that. No, not like that. Let's do that. No, not like that. That. There. That breaks that up just enough to keep it visually. Oh, there's the beeping. So I don't know if you can hear that. Like I said, it's not a fire. I am okay. It's just the bread maker. Or I guess dough maker. It's not baking the bread. So in this case, it'd be dough maker going off. It'll stop in a minute. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. So we're going to do it like this. We're just going to put an additional line in like that. There, yes. Now that I like. Nice kind of elegant line just cutting through. There we go. Yeah, and I think that I think now I am finally done. Yes, I'm done. Except that. That is bugging me. I don't I don't that curl doesn't look right at all. So we've got to fix that. 
So let's jump in here and let's just see what we can do. You have this line. This is the this is the primary problem. Is that line there? That line just does not look right. So what we have to do is we're going to continue this line like that. That looks okay. I don't mind that. So then I need another line, which hold on, make sure we'll see what layer I'm on. Yeah, I'm okay. And we'll have this line come down and swoop. Yep. And then on a different layer, just to keep these things somewhat consistent, uh, I'm going to do that. I think. Hold on. Yes. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Mute one second here. Sorry about that. Just a whole bunch of background noise. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just finding a couple lines. That's what I get for saying I think I'm done. Nope. That's the kiss of death. Don't ever say that. Okay, we're good there. So just a few more tweaks we got to do here. And I'm seeing places where the orange is bleeding over, so i got to fix those too. Not that those would matter as much because I would catch those later, but since I'm seeing them, I want to fix them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, man. Anybody who has a dog is probably familiar. Dog hair gets everywhere. And you just start itching. Because I do not have a short-haired dog. My dog has long hair. So it ends up everywhere, and it gets very itchy. It's okay, cutie. We put up with that. Uh, hear more noise. Might have to mute again, just so you're not getting blown out here. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think... I think we're good. is not happy. It's lots of noise. So she does not like hearing doors and stuff moving. Like most dogs, she assumes everybody's just here to see her, which is not the case. Will you relax? I'm talking to her. Obviously, I'm not talking to anybody on this because there's nobody on this, which is fine. It's okay. I don't know if you can hear her, but she has a very crunchy toy. So she may be... Hi! Relax, will you? She was not relaxing. That's fine. It'll, it'll knock her out later. 
later. She'll go down like a ton of bricks. Oh, just tiring yourself out, are you? Hi, relax, will you? Relax. It's not that exciting. Except, of course, it is, because there might be people here. And they'd have to want to see me. I'm speaking as the dog, obviously. So, yeah, I think our lines are good now. So we can get back to color here. Which I think, at the, la at the end of the last stream... We hadn't introduced color yet. We were j I just finished the lines, or thought, thought I had finished the lines. Clearly, that was not the case. So, keep going here. But that happens. I mean, that's just nature of what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, so I've got to change this because now that line I don't think was there before. So we've got to take that out. There we are. Take all this out. All this out. Yep. Then we'll make that into the dark red, which is easy enough. Just switch to the other layer. Whoa, okay. I didn't realize I was on a paintbrush there. There's always this back and forth where my my instinct is to use the paintbrush because it's faster, but of course that also means I have to be more careful about my lines. So it's kind of this ebb and flow with that thing where I jump between these. Not a big deal, just how it goes sometimes when you're working at high magnification or whatever you want to call it, close up like this. So that's where the, the new uh, Apple Pencil Pro features might have, the squeeze thing might have been beneficial for me, but alas, it does not work with my iPad, so it doesn't matter. Um, I don't... Oh. Okay, yeah, we're going to change something here. We're going to take this out. Right, give me the paint on that. We can do the paint for this. Take that out. That's now going to become dark red. You'll see why in a minute, because I don't like having colors next to each other. Uh, I prefer to have the colors not overlap. It's not, it's not a rule I won't break, but... I generally would prefer not to have colors next to each other. It just gives more of a... I don't know. I don't know why, actually. There's no real reason for it. I just don't particularly care for it. So I'm going to modify. Now that I've introduced all these different lines, you know, that's... There's more likelihood of that happening. So, yeah. I just saw, and will be pre-ordering, right after this stream, that the Folio Society has issued an illustrated version of the novel Roadside Picnic, which inspired the stalker film and video game. An illustrated version by Dave McKean, an artist who many people, if you're, I wouldn't say older, but you'd have to, you know, he's been around for a while, but illustrated stuff like uh, if you watch the Netflix Sandman series, the graphical illustrations at the end of those episodes is Dave McKean, who also worked on the covers of the original Sandman comics back when they were originally published. So it was very nice that they brought him in to do the artwork for that. Very fitting, as he did a lot of the... I don't think he did all the covers, but certainly in the first years of that, he did many of them. And has done many other things. He did the Batman Arkham Asylum comic... He's a very distinctive style. Um, actually have some old trading cards from the 90s of his, uh, which I believe are Sandman cards, if I remember. Because they're beautiful kind of oversized cards they made, and his artwork is featured on them. But he's doing the illustrations for Roadside Picnic, which is reason enough to get the book. That's not bad for what Folio Society books sometimes go for. $70, which is not bad. They, they have had editions that go for a lot more than that. So $70 is a deal. Because I love Roadside Picnic. It's just an excellent story because I love the Stalker movie and the video games. It's so all that stuff. So as soon as somebody, I saw somebody post in Discord, I went, okay. Oh, well, I know I'm going to be ordering that. Especially because, like I said, I was, I opened the page and I'm like, all right, how many hundreds of dollars is this book? Do I actually have to really think about this? You know, can I actually afford to get the book? And $70? Yeah. No, I can spend $70 on a book. 
That's okay. That that is that is an acceptable sum for an illustrated hardcover of a story I really do love. So yeah, that's that's great. Royal well, Society does some nice additions. Very nice additions. Like I said, the only problem is they can be pricey. They can be. I have I have seen ones where I looked at how much it was and I went, yeah, I, I can't justify that. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of work. Beautiful piece of artwork. I remember I had this discussion with Lando years ago on our show where I said, you know, because ebooks have been slowly taking the place of physical books. And oh, look at that. There's ones next to each other again. I have to fix those. And I said, well, books aren't ever going to go away. They'll just become craft pieces. You know, they'll become collector's items, which is basically what Folio Society stuff is. All right. We got to fix this. Okay. We're going to do um, this the same color, but in a different spot. We're going to do right here. This will come up the this mustard or whatever yellow this would be called. This is the only problem with modifying lines like this is because I... Ah, and that's right next to each other. Um, okay. We have to fix a couple things here. Yeah, that's not going to work. So what I got to do is turn all this off for a minute. I got to come back up. Where is this line? This was inevitable to happen. I mean, this was, this was just always going to happen. It's okay. I know how to fix it. Not a problem. I just have to create new lines. Not a big deal. Annoying. Absolutely annoying and irritating that I, I have boxed myself in like this, but that's okay. What I gotta do is this. There. Problem solved. Annoying. Like I said, annoying. But I got it. I got it. Okay. Now, colors back on. And you'll see, of course, now the colors are scrammed because I've essentially created a brand new border where there wasn't one. All right, now how am I going to do this? Okay, I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the yellow or mustard. I'll call it mustard. I don't know how it appears on your screen. I'm going to erase this out for now. Erase all this. Erase this. Do a time check really quick. 22 months. Oh no, it's okay. More time than I thought. Um, like I said, this is going to be a shorter stream because I have to fire up the pizza oven. Uh, right. But, uh, that's fine. Okay, so that's going to be. Let's take a look. So the mustard color. Okay, I got it. Look, I got it. Actually. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Actually, no, where's the reds? I kind of like the idea of, because I have, I have a big splotch of red there. Let me see what I want to do here. Let me think about how I want to do this. Let's, let's consider this for a minute. So if that's orange, <clears throat> that's red. Yes, okay, I got it. So the red, what did I just erase? Oh, I erased what I wanted to put in, sorry. I knew I, knew I did that backwards. I, could, I knew it the minute I did it. Jump to painting. Okay. Here we go. Excellent, excellent. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot that. Yeah. Forgot that the yellows are under the reds in layer terms. So I have to be a little cautious on that. Not a big deal. <clears throat> Just something to pay attention to. Okay, so fill that in. Now I have to erase. Uh, all of this that is not where that goes now. Just pull and peel that right out. There we are. And those are okay. And then I'm going to make... <coughs> sorry, pardon me. I'm going to make this yellow. So this layer. Okay. So this goes to mustard careful because that will go over the red so I gotta make sure I don't go too far into that line I was watching there was a, there have been as of the as of the live stream there have been a couple of 
big announcements from some of the leading companies in large language models. Specifically, again, as of this stream, by the time this gets posted, there may be many others. Uh, actually, by the time this gets posted, I don't think WWDC will have happened yet, the Apple event, the Apple Developers Conference, because I expect there's going to be some big stuff in there. But anyway, the two that I have seen that are most recent are OpenAI and Google did events on their large language model and conversational generative tools and it occurred to me that something the, the only one of the only uses i could ever see for myself with these tools because i just don't really have a use for them in general is to be able to take an image like this and say okay please do alternating color fills in between each of these lines in this space and let it do this for me that would actually be oh i completely missed that yes the mustard part um that would be beneficial there's an actual use of these tools i could see myself you know, using where I feel like, okay, that's not really something that requires my, this, this coloring here is literally just following the lines. There's no real, I, I you know, I'm not going to tell you I'm, I'm using any massive creative engine on this of my brain or anything like that. I'm literally just following the lines. This is something a machine could do just to save me some time. You know, the lines being corrected, I'd have, I'd have to do that because the machine wouldn't have seen that. Oh, yeah, I got to fix that too. You know, so that's something where I would have to fix that. But doing the coloring of these, yeah, I really don't need to be doing this. You know what I mean? Not really. Ah, look at that. I boxed myself in again. Because <sighs> the colors are going to overlap and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I know how to fix it. I know how to fix it. It's annoying, but I know how to fix it. It's just one of those things where once again, I've put myself in a bind, but this is how it goes sometimes. That, oh, that's the wrong brush. Okay, he's right pen at least. Sorry, pen. And that. There. Solved that problem. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't follow the lines correctly. Hold on, I gotta follow this line. Yeah, I don't like the way it looks. Hmm better but now this other one doesn't look right so let's okay it's okay it's okay i'll get it i'll get it folks i'm gonna get it Ooh, Ooh i like that eh, no i don't i want a little bit more of a space on the end of that i did like it but i like that better now fix these really quick and then i need to go to here jump down to the mustard layer I do need the thin pen probably in here to make this, because this is some fine line work, comparatively. And then I need the red layer, and then that's here. That separates those yellows so that they are not intersecting. It's not the most perfect thing, but it is something I can live with, and that's where you have to get sometimes. So, we got it. We're good here. Yep. But yeah, that was something where I was watching those. And I'm like, yeah, I could actually being able to. There's another one I'm gonna have to fix. Ugh, boy. Hmm. Maybe I'm being too dogmatic about this. Maybe I am. And I don't like. I just saw a line I don't like. So I gotta fix this now. Where is that? I just saw it. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, we gotta fix that too. This, this becomes the problem is it becomes a lot of correction because you just start to at least in my case I start to see things I don't like yeah okay let's go to this let's do whoo, like that there we are so this is going to be a lot of and, I, and I'm now starting to remember that this was a lot of the correction work I did on the actual magic card that the original artwork that this is from or that this is based off of was I remember this was the longest part of that too was me going in and realizing I didn't like certain things. Now, the other thing I did that was smart, unintentionally really, is that I did a, the orange paint, the orange coating is underneath the whole thing, so I could just erase that and now it's orange. So see, it, it chops that right up. I don't have to recolor that in. That was smart. That was actually legitimately a smart thing to do. But yeah, now I have to look at all this because now I have orange overlapping up there, which I can't easily solve. 
So I may just have to let go of this whole don't let them touch thing. And just, you know, I'm curious about something. What did I do on this one? Yeah, see? Is there any overlapping in here? No. No. Uh, I mean, technically there, but this is the original. Yeah, see, I think this is, this is, this is, this is the same problem. I think this is the exact same problem. It's amazing. It ends up being the same things all over again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And yet, you know, I shouldn't say unbelievable. It's completely believable. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is the stuff that does drive me crazy because it just gets to a point where I'm just kind of aggravated about it. It's fine. It's just, it's what it is. But now I'm like, okay, so let's see. Am I going to have any more overlaps? Let's follow the lines here and see what we're dealing with. So that's going to be orange, which would make... Let's go to the red layer. See, I'm trying to plot this out so that I can avoid these problems, hopefully, at some point. Okay, do that. So then the yellow would have to go in between these two. So let's grab that, go back to the yellow layer. Let's do that. Okay. So if that's yellow, let's make this one dark red, dark red, dark red. Dark red, dark red, okay. So then that would be orange. If that's orange, then uh, this would be yellow, 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 yellow. Okay, we're clear there. Then we'll do orange again for that one that flows down there. And then we'll do red for this, this, this. Oh, wait, 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 that can't be right. Oh, I see why there's a line missing. Okay, no problem. This is actually an easy fix. Not not too annoying compared to some of the other ones. So I just need to add a line like, like, uh, like that. No, no, not like that, like that. Actually, you know what, I can just arc the whole thing. Why not just arc it? Oh, there, got it. I got it one shot. That's actually, it's actually very well lined up. Amazing. That was luck. I cannot pre even pretend I, I architected that very well. All right, so there's the orange. So now we have to go back to the red layer. Red layer. Select that color. Okay, let's see. Red and red. In theory, through there. Okay. Then let's say that's orange, orange. We'll make this red here. Let's get yellow, back to the yellow layer. So this is yellow, 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 and, er, yes, yellow, okay. All right, so then let's do orange again. Let's go back to deep red or whatever, this ketchup, I guess. <laughs> so ketchup. Catch up, catch up. I'm on the catch up layer. Yes, I am. Why does that look? It looks faint. I must not. I must have selected the edge of the color. That's all right. I'll fix it right now, just to make sure I don't make a mistake later. Yeah, that's what I did. So just want to make sure I don't accidentally use that color later. I don't think I would. I'm pretty sure I would notice it right away, but why take a chance, right? Okay. So then. Orange, we'll do orange again. Then let's grab the yellow. Oh, I saw it, I saw it. Okay, um, and then let's go to the yellow layer and we'll do this. That comes up into, oh, interesting. Interesting, so that, well, we can just say that that's sealed off. That's okay. Then let's do, red again because otherwise we're overlapping so let's go back to here oh whoops it took over my entire screen there we are okay so then we'll do red red ah oh, it's gonna yep yeah, can't do it it's they're impacting each other okay mm, 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 mm. yep yeah, i got myself pinned again i got myself pinned again 
Mm, 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 mm. How do you fix this, Joe? How do you fix it? I got it. Okay. No, I got it. I figured it out. What I have to do is take a line out. Instead of adding a line, I need to subtract a line. Where's that line? There it is, right there. Er, uh, sorry, wrong line. On the wrong layer. There it is. This line comes out. That line's gone. That fixes it. Because now... If that is, yes. So now it's still yellow, it's just a different spot. So back to the yellow layer, there it is. And we'll just say this is all yellow. And then that will seal off just invisibly. You just can't see where it seals off. So that fixes that. We'll grab the red again, go back to the red layer. We're gonna do red here. We're gonna do red in here and in here. Then we're going to do yellow again. Yellow is going to be here, here, and then that seals off, so we don't have to worry about that. This is, if that's orange, then we're going to make this yellow again. So that will come into, hold on, I'm following my lines as much as I can. That, and then that which means I have to do another line because that doesn't make any sense. So we go back to here, grab our pencil, or pen, I should say, and we bring this line like that. There we are. That makes that make sense. See, to some degree now that the colors are also dictating where the lines go. That happens, that's okay. So that's yellow. So now we should go back to deep red, or, or ketchup. Let's go to our ketchup layer. Ketchup, there we are. So we'll do ketchup. Oh, not that one. We'll use the thicker brush just to make it very obvious. Ketchup. Ketchup seals off. So we can do orange. Then let's do ketchup again. Ketchup, 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 ketchup. And ketchup. Actually, no, leave that orange. And then do, hold on, I'm following it. Oh no, sorry, this is ketchup, that's orange. We're gonna go ahead and just make an executive decision to make this ketchup right here, just a little bit. Just a little bit of ketchup, just a tiny bit. Okay, and then we'll do yellow, right here. So yellow or mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, I know those chains are off. That's because I redrew the chains because I didn't like them. Uh, we'll do orange, then we'll do red. Okay. Uh, now, what I could have done, what would have solved this whole thing, is if I just had a fourth color. Which I suppose, if it gets bad enough, I just will invent a fourth color to go in here. But for right now, I think three is fine. I think we're where we need to be. Okay. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where are we at time-wise? 38 minutes. You know what? Just because I'm getting a little sick of doing all these... these well, let's... You know what? Let's fill in what we've got. So we can actually see what's happening here. That's a good idea. Let's... Let's... Instead of doing all the little things, let's just... Let's just start filling this in so you can start to see... As opposed to just squiggles, what these lines are going to look like. You know, start to see the color kind of filling in. I think that's a nice way to... to go through the, the final minutes of the stream is just to start to actually introduce the color and see because you know color weight matters too um, oh I didn't even notice that little splotch there of missing yellow so let's get that done really quick I need the thin pen for that because that's a really thin strip so we'll do that there we go and then back to red uh, because you know the weight of different things negative space colors all that stuff that can factor in. That's what made me redo the lines anyway, because I just felt like the, I guess in this case, it would be the negative spaces of the lines just didn't look right to me. They just didn't look, they didn't look like they were flowing. They just looked like they were stuck there. And that's just not, 
not an ideal way for it to look with something like this. I want it to look like it kind of has some motion to it, which is one of those tricky things. Obviously, it's a, it's a still image. It's a 2D image. This isn't animated. But you still want to be able to introduce some kind of motion to it. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Curved lines are part of it. Evoking things that move, for example. These, I'm trying to not directly mimic a river or currents, but the, f the line curves and the way they're intersecting is at least partially supposed to be kind of river or water-like. And if your mind associates those things, then you, then you automatically assign motion. You know what I mean? That's just, these are all little visual tricks, little things to kind of introduce some visual, uh, what's the word? Spice to an image, you know? So that's where putting the squiggles is fine as indicating to me where the colors go, but it isn't the same as actually seeing the colors there and seeing if the weights make sense and the proportions make sense and the ratios make sense, which they don't have to be mathematically in line. It's not like that type of thing, but stuff should look, shouldn't look weird. It should look like it fits where it is. So I can use the paint to, to do some of, ooh, not that, that's too big just to do some some big blotchiness in here and save some time. Just where it makes sense. But you see how thick that line is. I have to kind of be careful with it to some degree. Just because otherwise I'm going to end up having to erase and then it didn't really save me any time if I'm going back and fixing errors because of it. So it should, it should be, tools should save you time, not cost you time if you're using them pr properly. So see, this gets big amounts done, and then I can come in with that other brush and kind of get the details in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, would make, oh, would make sense right there, though. Could do it there. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get the other brush, this one. And this is where we'll do the kind of edging on it, edge work. So we can get this nice and honed in. Okay, we're getting towards the end here. I'm gonna have to go get the oven fired up soon. Which is fine, no problem. Like I said, I, I plan to do a bit of a shorter stream anyway. And I knew a lot of it was gonna be this color stuff, which I will freely admit is not the most fun part of doing image work, is this type of thing. That's what I mean about having an, an AI tool. I could just say, all right, I want you to fill, based on the squiggles, fill in everything to the black lines. And I'm sure that that will come. That that type of tool will get built into things like Procreate and this type of thing. What I really hope doesn't happen is it starts getting gated off to certain hardware. You know, because Apple just had their iPad event a couple weeks ago where they unveiled their new iPads and they've already, there's already certain things that can only use that iPad if you want to do them, which I think is just, I, I, not a fan of that approach. I'm hoping that doesn't apply to Procreate. I'm hoping that they don't suddenly come out with really fantastic new artist tools and say, well, yeah, but you can only use them on the iPad Pro. It's just, that would just be really junky because it just penalizes people for not having unlimited funds. You know, could I, could I figure out how to buy a new iPad? Yeah, I probably could, but should I have to when this thing works perfectly well? No. That's somewhat... Not even somewhat. It is ridiculous. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm hoping that Procreate for at least one more major rev of the software does not suddenly jump to the to a requirement for the newest iPad. I would really be annoyed by that. I mean, not enough. I think that I would dump Procreate. I I, this, I use this program for too much stuff, and I'm too versed in it. But, you know, if I had to, I probably could learn to do something new. I'm not saying there's any indication of that. I just noticed that the, I think it's the president of Procreate, maybe. If, I don't know if they have a president of the company. Whoever the head of the company is, was, or at least somebody in the public version of the company was part of that event. And was talking about how, you know, certain things only the new iPad Pro could do. And I went, oh, man, don't, don't gate things off like that. Don't make it harder for people to create. 
Not that I'm saying they would take any features out of the existing ones. I'm not saying that's what they would do, but you don't, it's just not great if they bring out new stuff and it's only going to be available to people who can afford these high-end things. I think that's not how creativity should work. But I also know there are tools besides Procreate, so, you know. If I had to learn something new, could I? Yeah, I could. I, I Fortunately, I don't do anything that's so advanced. I don't think I could jump to a another platform. If the necessity came up, I hope it doesn't. Because I do like Procreate. So far, I've been very happy with it. And I would, you know, I'm happy to pay an upgrade fee if it's something like that. I understand these people. Developers have to get paid. This work doesn't just happen. These people have to eat too. So, you know, that I certainly wouldn't say that they would have to do a big upgrade and not charge for it. I just wouldn't want it to be locked into the new iPads. That's the part that would bother me. But by, you know, if they need to charge for an upgrade, I'm, I'm paying. That's not an issue. They do not charge a lot for what this thing does. I want to say it's 10 bucks. It may not even be that much. So, yeah, I could absolutely, I would have no issue paying an upgrade fee for new features in Procreate that are, you know, inspired by the new iPad. I just wouldn't want them to be locked to it. That would be, I think, a negative for me. Okay, we are at 46 minutes. Okay, let me finish. I'm going to finish up just the reds. And I think I'm going to clean up those yellows because they're going to bother me. And that's probably where we will leave the stream for this particular evening or day or whatever it is, wherever you are because I'm sure there's a lot of people who will be watching this later. Which is fine. As I've said many times, and I continue to say it, so that... So fortunately, these streams do not... I mean, some of the stuff I talk about will obviously be old news by the time you hear me talking about it, but that's... Um, oh, I just noticed that. I should have put red here. That's easy enough. I can do it right now. Um, but that's okay. I don't think I ever, I don't talk about things that are, ah, oh, no, I can't do that because of there. Uh, what did I do here? Okay, I gotta add a line. No, I just, I'm, I'm just, that's just the thing I'm particular about. That's fine. Just that thing. There's lots of things I'm particular about. Let's not pretend it's otherwise. So we'll just do that. No, 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 no. It doesn't look right. That, that looks better. Oh, good. Okay. Just cut that there, and now we can do, um, I can put yellow, yellow please, thank you. We can put a yellow line right here to separate these. There we are. And then I can put red, that's, yep, yeah, that'll work. I can put the red in here and it'll, it will keep my little separation thing happening. There we go. So the reds don't, so none of these colors are intersecting or next to each other. So that's good. I am trying to preserve that. Okay. There, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. And that satisfies my don't let the colors touch requirement. Which is silly, probably to some people, I understand, but it's just how I do things. It's just one of those, one of the many weird little quirks about me is things like that, where I'm like, no, 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 no. I made the decision that these colors should not go up against each other, and so they can't, they can't touch. Like a child who can't let their food touch or whatever. That's how I am with colors with these things. I'm not saying it makes a lot of sense, and I'm not saying it's... Something that most artists do, I would imagine most artists do have their little particular oddities about their work. That's, I'm fairly confident in saying that, but uh, this is probably not one that a lot of them have. Although, I don't know. It's not like I've ever done a poll. Wait a minute. Um, what did I... No, 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 I'm fine. I am, I'm good. I'm good. I just need to do this. There. Problem solved. I think I probably meant to do that and just forgot to do it. 
Okay, so we'll fill this in. We'll erase those yellows, and then we will bring this stream to a close. Okay, so yeah, let's. Oh, this is bugging me. So we gotta fix. We got to fix that. Paint, please. Thank you. Get rid of that. I'm not gonna fix these tonight, but okay. That was just. That was really bugging me. Okay. All right. Colors are. I'm not gonna fix that one. I guess. So how did I miss that? How did I miss that? I'm telling you, all right, one more. Hold on, I gotta do. I gotta fix that. It's, I just can't believe I missed that. Somehow I missed that. <sighs> Boy. Okay. So we need to separate the orange. How do I separate the orange out? How do I separate the orange out without making this a whole nightmare? Let's check. Um, that's how. Annoying as it is, that line has to go away. And we need to have it go like this. There we go. That's it. That's how we do it. Really annoying. Really annoying. Because this is... That, that line sucks, though. I gotta make it better. That line is not good. It's not a smooth line. It has to be. A, if I'm gonna do this, I have to make it a smooth line. There. Okay. Switch this eraser to there. Okay. Whoop. Okay. And that won't touch the reds, right? <sighs> Hold on a minute. This is bugging me. No, that doesn't. It doesn't look right. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm overthinking this. I'm drastically overthinking this. Yep. All right. Nope. Nope. That's it. That's it right there. I just fixed it. In one shot. Just make all of this red and it'll be fine. I just, I was over engineering the solution on that. Way over engineering that solution. Because all I had to do, yeah, because that's not going to intersect. Nope. We're good. That's it. It's right there. Just, I was way, I was just introducing way too much complexity into that. When all I had to do was expand the red. Just make the red bigger. And the problem solves itself. Which is probably something I could take advantage of more and don't. My brain usually doesn't think that in that way, which is my fault. Um, but... That is definitely the better solution. So let's just fix this right there. That solves this problem in one shot and preserves everything I want without me having to redo lines. Oops, I will go down that one. Just be careful. Careful, careful, careful. Yes, yes. We got it. We got it. And now, preserves all the color. Yep, that's it. We got it. All right, everybody. We're going to bring this to a close because, man, it's straining my eyes to look at it now, which happens. That's okay. So anyway, thanks for hanging around as I go insane with all of my weird particulars with color and everything else. As I always say, watching it, no, I don't think anybody showed up for the live. That's perfectly fine. You're watching it later. That's still, I'm still happy you're watching it at all. Go out there, try to be creative, or at least go find somebody else being creative besides me. If you're watching this later, go find somebody doing a live stream. Pop in, say hello to them. Because a lot of people like that. A lot of people do this, and they really like the interactivity and stuff like that. It's fine. I don't mind it either, but I don't... I know there are people who really like having people that they talk to and all that stuff. So, if you're watching this later, now go find somebody who's doing a live stream. Go in there, say hello, support their work if you can, if you like it. And go cre be creative yourself if you can can't watch more videos like this and maybe something will spark you never know that's how it works sometimes on that note thank you for coming by uh, now or later doesn't matter to me and until next time insert boilerplate language here until i can figure out something more clever to say and on that note thanks for coming by take care <laughs>